Hello, my lovely Aquarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aquarius, welcome to your mid month reading. Sun, Moon, Rising signs, and Venus signs for all of you. Take what resonates, loves. Leave what doesn't. But today, my spirit guides invite me to do this reading. Since we are going Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde goes in the zodiac sign of Scorpio. And as well, on the 16th, we have a new moon in Libra. Strong energy loves, definitely here. For some of you, might feel a little stranger, but yes, they are here. And let's see here what's coming for you in this mid-month energies and how the energy plays for you, my loves. Aquarius again, Sun, Moon, Rising signs and Venus signs. We have no place like home. There's something here changes. And the changes are deep, deep inside you. And I feel here you are very grateful for these changes. Happy, happy energy. And the next card we have deep knowing. You know this is coming, loves. And for some of you, you are very grateful achieving this and for some of you I feel like well it's about time there's something here which you need to be aware that it's coming and you might need to say no to it whatever energy which you know interfere into your peace into your happiness you definitely have something here to to let it go and also for some of you you might need to learn the word the no to say it to others for those of uh, people who are coming to you and feels like they are not in a good way into your life or they are not giving you peaceful energy because as you know sometimes there are people their energy comes to your life just to get your energy the good energy you have or you are projecting towards the things so definitely here, I feel here that is an Aquarius, very happy on their own, but there is other things come up and that's, that's when you need to learn to, to say no, to be very much into your power and now whatever is not fulfilling you, that's not yours. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for Aquarius for this mid-month energies. What we can know, what we can do and what the predictions are at this time. What my Aquarius is, needs to be hearing at this time. If you are inclined to see this video by any means, by the title or you just feel drawn, you definitely have a message in here. Oof. We have a Devil Energy, Capricornian Energy. There's somebody here who struggles, struggles most likely financially, or there is a, some type of, I want more, I want more. That's what I'm hearing here. And Spirit says, take more time for you. I love you first thing first. Not for you, energy is basically, for some of you, there is coming any deals, could be at work or something here. And looks like it's lovable energy, but doesn't really be, it's like looks good on the surface. But deep, deep as you go, doesn't. So be very careful with whatever is out there. I have Piscean energy, water energy and earth. Underneath we have Ten of Cups. So definitely I feel here there is something here not quite long lived but has a huge impact on. Could be impact on you or impact on the other person. There is a very insistent person around you but you are still guessing is this love or is this is obsession? Because somebody here is so much like ding, 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 knock, 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 you know. But there is kind of like boundaries need to be set up right out of that. 
okay? Because I feel here there's something here about this person, like whatever they do. For some of you, there might be a very good opportunity at your work or whatever you do in regards finances. And Spirit says, don't rush into make a decision. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. We have three queens right away. Temperance. There's something here, the, the, the passion and love are not quite there. Magician, star, king of wands, page of swords, five of cups, and the hermit. There's something here you need to look deep, Aquarius. Because I feel here there is something here comes up and you might not feel very happy about it. Or there is a thing here you need to learn from the past. Because I feel here there is big desire like I gotta go, I gotta do it. And you see here you might have a lot of fire in the chart. You see here you are between temperance, star, and the hermit. Which tells me here that you do have good energies, good guides around you. You are protected. But don't rush into do. It's like, I want this. I gotta go. And again, the hangman. Hang in there and don't make rush decisions. The only queen is missing, it's your queen, queen of swords. Being clear for what you need to go or be clear for what you need to allow here. And also learn something here. Learn from the past things. Because the success is on the way, but there is a pattern here that might be repeating. So be aware of that. Spirit says go deep, dig deep. Because we have very much spiritual cards around you. For some of you, there is temptation here. It's not necessarily true love. But also be aware to not fall down in, in the same pattern as you used to. Because I hear this... Five of Cups speaks about to not fall down in the same pattern as before, okay? Because of the desires, because of the things you truly want. Because there is a big thing like, you know, I can't do it why I don't, don't have it or why I cannot have it. Spirit says, give yourself time. Give yourself time here. And be clear for what you truly want. To not fall in the same pattern. There's a, a lesson here. There's a past lesson here. Strongly coming up here. Because I see an accord is very capable of everything they can do. Could be entrepreneur. Doing things like, you know, I want it, I get it. I manifest it. Like you are very good of what you do. And definitely, you can do it fast. But now the universe is warning you. Now you don't need to go by the impulse. Or I manifested, it, it's right here, I want it, it's going. Because the star energy is very much, we going into your season, Aquarian season, Aquarius era. And be very, be very attuned with that, okay? Let's see here, what's that about? King of Wands. Four of Swords. Again, it's another card of reflection. Don't rush into doing something here. Definitely here feels like temptation. King of Swords. My plans, my future, my actions. 
Six of Swords. And the Chariot. Cancerian Energy. They are movement forward. And there is help here. And definitely here will be fast movement. But later on. Later on. There are hidden things here. Which you need to pay attention. Those flags. Those red flags. Green flags. Blue flags. Call it as you want. But there are some hidden things here. With the moon. Okay. What's the five of cups in here? Empress. Four of pentacles. And Nine of Cups. There are new beginnings here. But I feel here that this, this will occur in a longer period. Because Pentacles are slow energy. You know that. And I definitely see here this is in regards your prosperity here. As we have the Empress. Four of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Indulgements. Again, I'm going to the indulge and temptation. Could be tempted here like a business deal to be done quick. To purchase something. But Spirit says you will have prosperity here. But you need to hold on. to Don't spend because you feel like, yes, that will go. That will go later on. But hold in that. Don't go. It's like think first. See the options. And then proceed forward. We have two wish fulfillments here. There's something here you really want to do. You really want to go. But Spirit says. There's no need to rush. There's something here. Definitely here. Not for you. It's kind of identify that. Because I definitely see here when the surface looks awesome. When you go deep, doesn't really quite. Again, Spirit says, have patience. Hermit, speak to me here. Eight of Pentacles. That could be your work, my loves. Three of Cups. And the Fool. And Page of Pentacles. There's something here. If you have partners here. You know. They are coming here good deals. And feels like, well, we'll do this, we'll do that. But at the end, there will be all the work on you. So if you want to partner with yourself with somebody or whatever you want to do, whatever you want to work on, I feel here that something here is not working. So basically, look who are your tribe, who are your allies, who are your assets, okay? Because it seems to me very small, Okay? Whoever it's coming here with a very great idea and seems awesome and wow, wow, wow. Be careful to not miss a point with the full energy. Okay? Spirit says again, go deep. With the hermit here, go deep into the things. For some of you, you are very good with numbers here. Check numbers. Make the statistics or whatever it's out there. Because I definitely see here, there's not as much love energy as much as partnerships. Somebody here will walk away from a very good deal. They feel like, well, this is awesome. This is the best deal I can have. But the warning is, don't rush in to make that deal. And I feel here... There is something here better later on. 
probably will not be that big as you feel but you will gain more from the second than the first because there is something here that is not not yours not for you so dig deep loves okay because that's you kind of know here and other thing here it's for your own happiness your happiness is at stake at this point okay so here we have here your reading loves Aquarius I hope this resonates for some of you and not confuses others of you and sometimes comes up very much strong you know energy of love and sometimes is more like work partnerships whatever energy I'm picking up here okay thank you for watching loves and if you are new to the channel thank you for coming in and in tune with this energy and of course I would like you to be part of this beautiful family by subscribing to the channel if you're always here thank you for being a good support and being always here for us thank you many blessings namaste